This is Jupiter Today for the 30th of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. Today there's five Jupiter satellite events and one satellite neutral event. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant one, heading east. Europa starts the day in quadrant three, heading west, but very near its western elongation. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant two, heading west, as well as Callisto in quadrant two, also heading west. By six hours UTC, EO is past its eastern elongation and joins Ganymede and Callisto in quadrant two, heading west, and Europa has now passed its eastern elongation and is in quadrant four, heading east. At 8.31 UTC, Europa goes through a perijove, that's the closest it's gonna be to Jupiter in this orbit. And that distance is 664,858 kilometers. And then at 9.10 UTC, Io goes through a perijove, and that's 420,044.4 kilometers. And as you can see, the perijoves of Io and Europa are practically on the opposite sides of Jupiter. And by 12 hours UTC, Io is now firmly in quadrant two, still heading west. Europa is in quadrant four, heading east. At 1510 UTC, the transit of Io begins. That's when it begins to cross this blue line. This blue line is the line of sight to Earth, and this gray line is the line of sight to the Sun. The intersections here would be the midpoint of the transit. So at 1510, the transit begins. At 1613 UTC, the shadow of Io ingresses. At 1727 UTC, the transit of Io ends. And by 18 hours, you can see that EO is now successfully transited, although its shadow is still being cast onto Jupiter for just a little while longer. And EO is now in quadrant three, heading west. And by 1830 UTC, the shadow of EO egresses. From 21 to 2105 UTC, EO eclipses Europa, so that's about here and about here. So that's a fairly long shadow. Io is gonna be on the Earth side of Jupiter and Europa is on the far side of Jupiter. So that's a pretty long shadow. It's a five minute event with a impact parameter of 0.161 arc seconds. So that's a pretty, pretty close eclipse and a nice deep one, 0.626 magnitude flux drop. Unfortunately, it's pretty close to Jupiter, 13.19 arc seconds, with Io and Europa being 46.35 arc seconds apart. At 2202 UTC, Europa moves behind Jupiter. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, Io is in quadrant three, still heading west, but getting near its western elongation. Europa is moving behind Jupiter, and Ganymede and Callisto continue in quadrant two, heading west. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the temporal and spatial connections between the four Galilean moons that you just saw. So here's the connection between Io and Europa, Io and Ganymede, Io and Callisto, and then Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto. And then I combine all these and get rid of the orbital lines, colorize them a little bit, and we get that for today. Twenty-four hours of Jupiter sky. We're standing on the equator of Jupiter, just above the clouds looking out to see what's going to be happening over the next 24 hours. Over a 24 hour period, Jupiter rotates a couple of times. 
Looks like Io is going to be passing in front of Ganymede, but from this longitude, we're not quite going to see that event. We're going to see it pass in front of Callisto there. And then Io is going to start its transit of Jupiter, going between Earth and Jupiter there. And then its shadow between the Sun and Jupiter. Maybe someday humans will be able to actually witness these events and not have to simulate them. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today. The first at 521 and the second at 1517 UTC. There were some new images posted. And there was some new radio data posted. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, one minute, 5.2 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 58 minutes, 29.3 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 123.761 degrees and that's 1.021 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, which is the angle between the Earth and the Sun as seen from Jupiter, is 8.931 degrees and that's 0.111 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 707,317,494 kilometers and that's 1,980,106 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 82,504.42 kilometers per hour. And that's 989.79 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun has finally crossed the 800 million kilometer threshold. Woohoo! and is now 800,005,835 kilometers and that's 44,127 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday and that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,838.63 kilometers per hour and that's 4.79 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC CM1, 279.95 degrees, CM2, 264.01 degrees, CM3, 186.17 degrees. So please subscribe, and thank you to everyone who is subscribing and watching. Hope these podcasts, these daily podcasts, are informative. I'm always trying to think of ways to improve and show different perspectives on this very dynamic Jupiter system. We really should be observing this system a lot more than what we are on a more continuous basis. I really think that there are things that we are missing, events that we are missing, that we may never see. And so I encourage observations and photometric measurements of the eclipses and occultations, and also some great photographs of the weather on Jupiter. There is a connection between the weather on Jupiter 
and solar activity, and I would like to be able to correlate that a little bit more with many more images. I am creating an image database from which I'll be able to query dates and times to find various things to try to correlate them with solar activity and other activities in the solar system. We really don't know what to look for. So the best thing to do is to look. So you can send your comments and questions and suggestions to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.